from Pretty Shepherd and today I'm going to show you how to neatly tie a bow such as this one. You're going to need a length of ribbon and either a friend or a candle holder or basically any kind of object that branches out in two directions. All you need to ask your friends is to hold their hands like this for a couple of minutes. However, if you are like me and have absolutely no friends nearby who would be willing to help... <laughs> yes, I live on a farm that's far away from any other kind of people. Anyway, you can use the candle holder. For start, you have to decide how long you want the end of your ribbon to be. Hold on to it there and start wrapping your ribbon around your friend's fingers, or in my case, the candlestick. The more times you wrap it around, the more ears your bow is going to have. I've decided I want three, so as soon as I have three layers on both sides, I'm going to join the two in the middle, check if the ends are more or less even. One end is going to go over these ribbons and come out under. The other end is going to go in the other direction. Now pull tight, tie a simple knot. Now all you need to do is pull out the ears from within one another. This kind of bow is very versatile and can be used for a lot of things. Let me know in the comments below what you think it should be used for. If you want to find out how to add this bow to a traditional Hungarian hairstyle, then click through to this video where I show you just that, along with two other methods for dressing up braids with ribbons and bows. I hope you've enjoyed this short and to the point tutorial about how to create neat little books. If you found this helpful and you want to see more of these short tutorials, then you can let me know by leaving a thumbs up. If you're interested in seeing more tutorials regarding historical folkloric hairstyles, then you can subscribe to my channel. Bye bye!